Students, we are doing questions from Concepts of Physics by S.C. Verma, Volume 1, Chapter 3, Rest and Motion, Kinematics. And here we are doing end of the chapter exercise, question number 19. Here you see that a driver takes 0.2 seconds to apply the brakes after he sees a need for it. This is called reaction time of the driver. If he sees a driving car at a speed of 54 km per hour, and the brakes cause a deceleration of 6 meter per second square. Find the distance traveled by the car after he sees the need to put the brakes on. So students, we can visualize it like this that during the reaction time, there is no change in speed. This is reaction time. This is a small time students. It is given that it is only 0.2 seconds only. And we have deliberately shown you so that you are clear about it. This is the distance travelled during, uh, during the reaction time. There is no change in speed during reaction time. So here in the beginning initial velocity was 54 km per hour. Let us convert it to meter per seconds. that is 54 into 5 by 18. That is I have 15 meter per seconds. This is the initial speed of the driving car. So here also it is 15 meter per seconds. Here also 15 meter per seconds. Then only the brakes starts functioning. Till that time brain was functioning. <laughs> After that brake is functioning. So reaction time there is no change in speed. And is the, at this point the final velocity is 0 and he has a deceleration of 6 meter per second square. He is asking us to find this distance travelled by the car after he sees the need. That is, he is asking us to find this total distance. Students, with 15 meter per seconds in 0 0.2 seconds, that is, S displacement during reaction time will be. 15 meter per second speed into time taken 0 0.2 seconds. That is 3 meters. I hope you are clear about this, students. This is the distance covered during reaction time. Now, what is the distance covered during the full breaking time? So, let us see that. Breaking time. Distance covered during breaking time. We can say that. It is having a uniform, uh, uniform deceleration of 6 meter per second square. We can apply V square minus U square is equal to 2 A S. Final velocity 0, 0 square and its initial velocity 15 square is equal to 2 into acceleration. That is a deceleration therefore minus 6 and distance covered during that. So, I have now this I am rectifying it so that you can see clearly this is 15 square. So S is equal to now 15 square divided by 6 into 2. Now this one 15 into 15 divided by 6 into 2. This will go by 2 and this is 3 a radio of 5. 15 5 is 75 divided by 4. Therefore, I have 1, 8, 7, um, 1, 1, 8, 7, 5. 18.7. This is the distance traveled during the breaking time. So, total distance traveled is 18.75 meters plus 3 meters, that is 21.75 meters. This is the total distance traveled the brake, brake until the vehicle stops. I hope the idea is clear to you, students.